Hi guys, it's me here, Pooh Bear 253 and I am giving you a back scene, um, that's the word I'm looking for, yeah, um, backstage pass to what goes on after work. So, I've done my exercising, I have taken my shower. And now I'm prepping for dinner. Um, if you guys follow me on Facebook, you knew that I um, cook all of my meals for the week on Sunday. So that on um, through the week, you know, when we exercise and stuff, we don't have to worry about what are we going to eat oh my goodness i'm hungry i'm tired i don't feel like cooking so we just came up with the bright idea this is my medicines uh here we go we just came up with the bright idea to start cooking on sunday and wrapping it up on the plates pre-portioned and ready to roll so and all I have to do is take it out let it kind of get room temperature ish until it is time to eat it so it just kind of sits there until hubby comes home and he does the warming up and serving so on to the nursery we are here and as you can see I have Mr. Tyrion's cubby out and that means he's about to get changed. I'm going to be putting him in his shark outfit that came with him. He has a bottle in there with formula. I'm going to fill it in his passy. I have all that in there just to travel. And I just want to show you guys that I am just overrun with beautiful babies. Tyrion's already in the bedroom. And look at this little girl here. Oh my goodness. She is so gorgeous. I was taking a picture. I have so many beautiful babies and it's just like oh my goodness who do I play with who do I cuddle I need to get that out and that's still there um so I had well I had to bring back the play log it didn't really go away it just went away temporarily because I was getting new babies and I need to input their names so, as you know, I have been enjoying Mr. Tyrion and Miss Oriya. So, you know, um, I'm going to be changing him again. And eventually, I'm going to get back up there to Maya and, and working my way down so each baby gets a turn. And so that I don't feel so overwhelmed with my babies. And, like, I have just, like, the biggest dilemma again, like... Why does our hobby have to be so torturous? Like, seriously, it's a lovely hobby, but when you want new babies, all these cute new kits are coming out. Well, the kit that I want is another Megan because I am head over heels in love with Tyrion and I really, truly want a twin sister for him. Hands down, I want a twin sister for that little boy. Uh, if I had two of them, I don't, oh my goodness, I don't know. That just would be the most, most wonderfulest thing ever in the world. So, yeah, so it's like, you want new babies, you run out of room, you have to decide and rack in your mind, oh my goodness, who am I going to put up for adoption and it's just this back and forth, back and forth. Oh, I really want a new baby, but oh, I really love these babies. Oh, how bad do you really want that new baby? Really, really bad. But do you really want to put up for put your other babies up for adoption? Not really. But you can't just keep collecting and collecting. Then you'll just be overrun. So, for in order for him to get a sister, at some point I'm gonna have to put somebody up for adoption, and I have absolutely no idea who I'm putting up for adoption. I don't know what to do. I really, I really don't know. So I'm just going through some things right now. 
Okay, so here is Mr. Sweet Tyrion Elias. I have him here. He still has on his cute little crab outfit. And I'm going to get him dressed in his little shark outfit right here. So, I can't really get a great uh, view for him. So, I'm going to have to uh, just dress him and just show you guys. Because I was trying to set the camera up, but I can't. Because uh, I need to kind of keep it, well, I don't need to keep it plugged, but I wanted to keep it plugged. I kind of like that all of his stuff is in one little place so that I could um, get all of his stuff. Bring all of, have all his stuff right there at my disposal. Look at those little shoes. I'm just so excited about those little shoes. He's going to wear this pacifier. I need to put on another piece of felt so his pasty stays on better. Because on the other ones... Oh no, that one does have the felt on it. Never mind. So that should stay better. So I guess the other ones move worse than that. Okay, never mind. That's why I picked this one. Okay, I'm going to get him dressed and I'll be right back to show you guys what he looks like. All right, everyone, here's my little shark man with his little go car. Well, on the go, I call it. It has a little car on it. And when I see little cars on stuff, it usually says like on the go or on the move. So here he is with little legs all cocked up in the air. <laughs> he got little short legs. And he has little sharks on there. And there's my sweet little boy. I just finished doing his hair. His hair will curl up very nicely. Um, and everything. I just love his little mouth. His little lips are the cutest. He's just so gently painted. And he's just so perfect. He has his little monkey rattle and his land on his favorite blanket from his auntie Mel with the little puppy on it. It's his favorite blanket because it's teeny tiny like him. And that's all we wanted to share with you guys tonight. Um, it's Thursday. I had a short um, time at the gym. Thursday is like my kind of just um, relaxing workout day because I just do the elliptical and a few weight machines and then I just go home so I was in the gym no more than an hour today and that's all I did so I got to come home earlier and I got to dress this sweet little boy so that's it um I'll maybe talk more about like my dilemma and how the hobby that I love sometimes can be very torturous when you want new babies and money is short or you don't want to adopt out old babies and sometimes it could just be kind of hard. Um, to end this on a positive note, I'd like to say congratulations to Reborn Love is Real on her bouncing baby girl um, when she has her in November. Alrighty. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. Bye-bye. And I'll see you guys in the next video.